Okay, I have some really sad news for you guys. Um, Mouse had to be put down. <laughs> I've never had to euthanize a fox before, and I'm not even in town. <laughs> Which is really sad, but I got to talk to her on the phone as she was being put to sleep. And Mary, our animal caretaker, who Mouse has known since she's came to save a fox, was there with her so she didn't have to die alone. We're getting a necropsy done on her, which will tell us exactly what went wrong. The vet thinks that she was hiding her symptoms for a very long time. And when we brought her to the vet yesterday and she got on some new antibiotics and everything. Not yesterday, I'm sorry. Last week. It was already too late. She was, she did. She did a fantastic job hiding her symptoms because we had no idea how ill she was. I feel so bad for her. She was such a special fox. I know everybody says that about their animal, but I want to say a few good words about her and her memory. She was so special because her favorite thing to do was eavesdrop on conversations. Like, if me and Mary were having a conversation... She would come and sit by her feet and just listen, and she'd do this to anybody. She didn't necessarily like affection or being touched, but she loved social interaction, and she loved to sit next to people and watch them talk. You could swear she knew what you were saying. So, in loving memory of our little mighty mouse... I'm sorry we couldn't save you, but we tried really hard. And I really hope for farm stop breeding sapphires because they are a weak gene. And they aren't known to live very long because of their weak genetics. Uh, a lot of you know a mouse had um, <laughs> a lot of problems and she had stem cell therapy and she was diagnosed with certain disorders, so those probably had a lot to do with her passing as well. Gosh. This is, this is part of, this is the sad part of rescue that all rescuers have to deal with. 